We're here with Zach Blair at the Puerto Rico Open. Zach was just playing the 16th hole here at Cocoa Beach Golf Club, about 202 yards from the back tees. Zach, uh, just take us through a little bit of what you just did uh, and hit your shot there. Yeah, I mean, it was a pretty good number. Wind's blowing off the left pretty good today. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a pretty tough hole right now under the conditions, you know. You gotta start it left of the green, let the wind kind of take it to the right, and get it on the green, hopefully make a putt. What makes the tee shot here um, pretty challenging, it looks like? You know, there's water in front, but really the green looks a little bit narrow, and obviously the wind uh, is pretty much everything on this hole. Yeah, I mean, like we said, that wind's kind of blowing hard, you know, over to the right, and the green does kind of sit at a tricky angle, um, kind of slopes up on the left down to the right as well, so... I mean, you just basically have to hit a really good shot in there to uh, get a good look. What was it playing about? Um, it was playing, 204. what, 204. Um, probably, we thought, around like 195. Got a little help with the wind, but, you know, not much. And what club is that for you? I hit a 5-iron. Okay. And you hit 5-iron usually how far? Like 190. Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I guess we can get started. I just want to walk down the Perfect. hole here. Um, Zach, you're an aspiring golf course architect yourself. Yeah. Um, just your thoughts on this design of this hole, first of all, and then we'll talk a little bit about the course. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty good. Um, this whole course, I guess, just is very dependent on the wind. You know, if they get the that hard wind off the ocean or whatever, you know, I think the course is pretty challenging. But uh, obviously when the wind lays down, you know, people play pretty good out here. But uh, it's nice, you know, you got room off the tee, you know, enough room for how much wind they get out here. And I think the green complexes are pretty good too. They, you know, they can handle the wind and stuff like that. So it's a fun course. As you will just pan the camera around here, as our viewers can see at home, this hole is only a par three, but it's a lot like the other holes here where the, you know, it's not really shaped off the tee. Um, it's a lot, it's very open. There's palm trees that guard the, guard the, uh, the rough. Yeah. Um, that can be a little bit tricky sometimes. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like you said, you know, you do have that, that the palm trees kind of blocking it around here. So, you know, you've got these big trees over here as well, kind of uh, blocking that wind a little bit. So you don't feel it as much as, as much as it's really up there. So kind of once the ball gets above the trees, you know, it really starts going with the wind. And like I said, I mean, it blows pretty hard out here, you know last two or three days it's been blowing 15 to 30 pretty constant so um, you know, hopefully it lays down a little for the tournament <laughs> have you noticed the wind swirling quite a bit or has it been the same direction you know i, I played here two years ago and then back here this year i, I swear we played it this same wind about every day and that's kind of what some people had said yesterday too that this is a pretty regular wind around here so um, that's one good thing you know, you play a very similar wind most of the time, I guess. Uh, one of the things I've noticed out here, uh, not only the uh, beauty of the golf course, but man, there are a lot of iguanas running yeah, around. Are. Yeah, there are. We, we saw one a few holes ago. We thought it was uh, we thought it was dead and we were going over to see it. And uh, all of a sudden it just took off. It was pretty big, like probably three or four feet. So <laughs> they got them everywhere. You know, they sit around the rocks, especially up on this hole in 17. You see a bunch of them out here. Uh, how's your day going? Uh, this is your 16th, 16th hole? hole? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I mean, you know, we've had pretty good weather. The rain's kind of off and on, but not too bad. And, uh, you know, always nice to be out here playing in the Pro-Am. A mm -hmm. uh, little bit about your season. Uh, you made a lot of cuts yeah. uh, this season, but just talk a little about your year and how it's going. Yeah, you know, like you said, made, made a handful of cuts, which is always nice to make the cuts, but uh, just kind of having one round that's kind of holding me back a little bit most most weeks but the game's right there it's pretty close um you know looking to get it going soon is there one part of your game that you think is maybe holding you back on the weekend uh you know it's kind of just different from week to week you know maybe get focusing on my ball striking and then maybe my short game kind of suffers a little bit or vice versa so you know I think it's close enough to where just kind of all the right pieces need to fall into place and we'll be right there. As we walk up to this green here I'll just pan the camera around and again give our uh, viewers a little look at this uh, 
this water lake here in front of the 16th green. Zach, is the water, it's not really in play for you guys, but uh, I could see how for amateurs, it could be a little bit of a scary thought going through their minds. Yeah, I think there, there's kind of a handful of holes that are like that out here. For, for a really good player, you know, or professional golfers out here, there's a lot of the holes where, like you said, the water probably isn't in play as much as uh, for a high handicapper. So yeah, there are some kind of intimidating shots out here for those guys that are, you know, not exactly sure where they're hitting it all the time. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things that I think a lot of golf architects kind of go for. You know, it's a pretty look. And, uh, but yeah, I'm sure they get a lot of balls in, <laughs> in the water around here. Uh, this pin position, is it, it looks like it's middle backish. Uh-huh, yeah. Uh, talk about the challenges of that off the tee. This is probably, I would say, you know, maybe one of the easier pins on the hole, just because you got that down crosswind. So some of those, you know, this left pin, when they get it over the bunker, I don't know what day they put it there, maybe like Saturday or Friday or something like that. That's a pretty tough pin, especially when you get that hard wind. But, uh, you know, it's a, the green's not crazy big, but uh, you got a little undulation in it and you gotta kind of pay attention. Make sure you don't get in the wrong spot. Over to the right, you don't really want to miss there because it kind of falls off into a big like, collection area. This is probably as easy as a pin gets on the hole. And you ended up over here? Yeah, just short of it. Kind of, you know, probably where we figured. We were just trying to hit it kind of in the middle of the green. And, uh, oh, no, this is good. See what you can do. Looks like you got, what, 35 feet? Yeah, something like that. Wow, that is a tricky read. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really play that right. Zach's Pro Am partners are now playing. Where Zach was putting from, you had to go a little bit over a ridge, but then it dropped down and went downhill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, this is kind of a big, you know, they got this big swell or hump right here, kind of right in the middle. Like a couple of funnel pins down here and up front. The greens aren't too crazy around here. You know, they did a pretty good job. Sometimes you get crazy greens on places where it blows really hard and you, know, you can't really play in tournament conditions because the greens just get out of control. One looks pretty good. Oh, try. How are you guys doing as a team? I think we're probably like 12 or 13 under. Nothing crazy, but you know, they've made some birdies today, which is always nice to see. He's been playing good.
Not a bad par save? Yeah, you know, that first putt, like you said, wasn't, uh, wasn't great, but got out of here with a three. I don't think that'll ever hurt you too bad on this hole. Well, Zach, uh, we appreciate you joining us here on YouTube Live. Yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, good luck this week. Yeah, thanks. See you guys later.